we are going to be starting decorating for spring. I don't know how much we'll get done today, but here is an overview of the things that I'm going to be using. I did not buy anything new. I have had all of these, I'm trying to get into every little nook and cranny here. All of us lay our stuff out, don't we? We lay it all out, we take inventory of what we got, old and new, and then we start playing. Um, so that's what this is. You're seeing all the things that I have to work with and nothing here is new except this basket right here. I did rust it up. I got it for, I think I want to, I want to say I might have paid a dollar for it. I can never remember. Anyway, that's the only thing new. Everything else I've had for a really long time. Um, and I have tons more down in the basement for Easter. But this is what I chose to bring up from my Easter inventory um, and use. And I might not use it all, but this is what I have to work with. I also have some um, staple items that I may or may not use. Some fabric, some doilies, some pans, some plates, some bowls, you know, that kind of thing. Um, anything that I don't use will go back to the basement. Um, I, did, I ran out of room on the table, so I had to put my little um, carrot dough bowl <laughs> on top of my grungy candle. So let's go ahead and start plugging and playing. You'll have to overlook the sound of the washer. Um, I went ahead and started with my Mr. and Miss Bunny, and I put them on top of my secretary hutch, um, flanking my salt box houses. And I kind of like that look. I do need to get doll stands for them though because I don't think they are going to stay put. They're not stable. They're actually leaning against the wall. So I'm gonna have to do some work on those. Um, but I like them. That's exactly, as soon as I pulled them out of my storage bin, I knew exactly where I was gonna put them and I'm super happy with them up there. And I'm just gonna leave that as is. The other thing that I think I know where I want it to go is this bunny with his glasses. I think that he would be perfect in this room. I'm just not exactly sure where yet, um, but I think I have an idea. I think he might be kind of cute on my piano right here. Look. I'm not even using this today. Everybody, you know, you other creators, you feel, you know, you feel me, right? So I think I like him there for right now. Um, I like him there. I also think if I could find a way to stabilize him, I would have to put something in there, like another little stand to make it work. Um, but he would be cute here as well. I think I might put him here. Um, my son made this for me when he was in middle school and he took a shop class. So that's kind of near and dear to my heart. Let me see if I can find something to put in there and then uh, see if I can get him to sit on that little shelf thing. You're getting real life decorate with me. So this is just a stand that I made. I make these because, oh, look at that. I make them because you need them in all shapes and sizes, you know? And it's really just a uh, wood frame that you can get from the Dollar Tree or you can get it from my, this came from the Dollar Tree. There's a hole in it because it's meant to be hung. Um, but I just glued some wood dowel pieces. What are they called? They're like candlestick things. They're not even real feet. They're like the wooden candlestick things in the wood pile collection of Michael's. Um, but anyway, it fits right there. I'm gonna plop him up here. And because I don't wanna to put too much weight in on the side, I'm gonna just put him there like that. Look at how cute that is. I love that, so I'm gonna keep him there. We need to find something else for this. What I'm trying to do is keep the wood, tex the wood texture here in the color because I wanna anchor it with that. So I do wanna keep this here. And I do like that there. I just need to figure out. Now I could switch these two and see if maybe I kind of just kind of had it a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna like this at all. I don't like that at all. So that's not gonna work. That does not, that doesn't make my eyes happy. 
Maybe if I push it further out, have it peeking a little bit there. Does that make my heart happy? No, that doesn't make my heart happy either. Um, I just don't know. I just don't know about that. I like this. I like this. This, this is making my heart happy for now. I need just a little something here. So let's go back over and look at the table. Yeah, I've never done like the whole experience this way with you guys. So this is new. Um, I have this, that's more of a shelf sitter kind of thing. I don't want to put that there. I do have this wonderful dish towel. And I usually put this in a bathroom or in the kitchen, but I'm not decorating the kitchen or the other rooms necessarily for Easter. I may put a couple of bunnies in the living room up here, the family room up here. Um, I'm not doing anything in the kitchen and I'm not doing anything upstairs and I'm not doing anything in the guest bathroom. It's already decorated for spring and summer. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I did not make any changes there at all. So I'm just going to leave it, but this might be cute over in that room. Um, because I don't think I want to use it in this room. Let's try it. We'll just try it. I like it because it gives me the texture and the coloring that I'm going for for this area. Let me move this so you can see. So if I back up and you notice, I have all of these wonderful primitive dark colors going on, all of the dark and the, the browns, the blacks and everything like that. And I really like that. Now, when you're, um, working with these colors, it's important that you're very strategic with your pops of white. You don't want to, they're going to really pop. So you want to be very strategic and not overwhelming, you know, you don't want to overwhelm um, or make things look like they're out of place or sequence. I like that this is a grouping of three. I didn't want to do a grouping of four and put something white here. And that's probably you know, this might, I still think the coloring of this would have worked. It would have made that good uniform, like, arch of white. Um, I'm still not sure. I could put another bunny there, actually. Actually, that, I might do that. Hold on. So, before I had the um, checkered bow and some lace right here, and I took that off, and I added my homespun, um, ribbon to it and it ties in with the look and feel but I did that because she's missing an ear I got her discounted because she was missing an ear and there were no more left at Hobby Lobby and this was already in their clearance pile and there was not another one like this that was f not broken um, so I got it even further deep discounted off of the clearance because it was missing an entire ear and it all depends on the managers that are on um, duty when you go to Hobby Lobby and you ask for an additional um, discount on something. Their spring collection at this time was already at 90% off. And that's great, but since everything was at 90% off, whether, you know, and these were non-broken items, these were just items that they had overstocked that they were trying to get rid of at 90%. And they do this with all their seasonal decor and other decor. Um, their broken items usually go in another section and are discounted even more. So depending on the manager that's on staff or on duty when you come across a situation like this will depend on whether or not they'll give you that additional discount. Some have told me when I've noticed, because I'll look for things that are broken that I can fix because I know I can get them even cheaper. <laughs> um, so I will intentionally keep my eye out for broken or damaged items. Um, but it really does depend on, it's at the discretion of the manager pretty much is what I found because I've been told no sometimes, you know, they'll say it's already discounted, this is where it is, and this is the price, it's final. And I can choose whether I wanna keep that in my cart and take it for that price, or whether I'm gonna leave it behind, because I know eventually, since they're not gonna be able to 
you know, there's not many people like me, I don't think, that'll buy damaged goods. But then again, maybe there are. But anyway, that's just a tip. I got her, I got this lovely little um, set of bunnies because she was missing an ear. And I actually could make another ear out of clay and attach it. Um, it might not look very well. I like the ribbon idea better. Anyway, there it is. And that's what it looks like kind of there. And so I'm liking the way that, let me back up a little bit and see. There you go. I'm liking the way that this looks and I'm going to leave it like this. Will I go back after I do this decorate with me and tweak things and add things? Absolutely. There's an idea that I have for the basket. Um, I think what I'm going to do, and we'll go ahead and do the basket now. Um, I'm going to take my homespun ribbon out and I'm just going to lay it across here because I use it. So I want to keep it at the ready for me and I have to keep it up and away from, from Maggie. So I'm just gonna leave it there for now. It is not a decorative element, it is a useful element. We are gonna go over here and I'm gonna get these carrots. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I like the realistic ones right here. If I can, I'm doing this one-handed today because I'm trying to clean and do everything at one time <laughs> and I didn't feel like getting dressed. <laughs> so I don't wanna show me. <laughs> Anyway, I'm in my jammies. I'm going to stay in my jammies for as long as I can today because it has been that kind of week, you know? So I want to put these um, carrots in the basket like this and have them kind of peeping out. Um, I think that would be really cute. And then I also have this sign that says, Welcome to our patch. Um, but I think I might try to put this in a vignette for, um, whatchamacallit, for the entryway. So I, I might not do that. I might hold off on that. But anyway, all right. But that is my plan. I think I want to put some carrots or something like that in there. Uh, hold on. Let me see what I can do. I'll play a little bit. So this picture, at some point this weekend, is going to replace this picture. Um, so that's why that's there. I'm going to have to do a finished room tour. I don't know if I'll be able to do like a finished room tour or not because we're just doing this random decorate with me. So we'll have to see how that goes. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to add anything here Eastery. I just want to do sprinkle of Easter or spring, if that makes sense. I think we're going to concentrate in this room for this video. That's what I think we're going to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put these cute little um, greenery, topiary-ish rabbits over here to give it a pop, but yet it stays green. And I still need candles for there. So I'm going to play with them. I'm not sure how I'm going to put that. This one fits right here in this space really nicely. Um, I like that. And again, I will be getting candles for there. And then this one I think would work here because it's tall and skinny. So I can kind of space these out just a tad so that you can actually see. But the teapot helps stabilize that a little bit. So there's my little nod to Easter right here. I'm liking that so far, not too bad. Okay, let's see. We have some little items that I need to put over here. And I wanna keep this very simple because I don't wanna mess with this a whole lot. It took me forever to get this staged. So I really don't wanna mess with it. Um, and it's it's a work in progress because again, remember shelves are gonna go here <laughs> eventually. They will. And look, I, have my, I clean as I go, guys. I'm doing double of everything right now. I'm gonna clean as I go. I got my step stool. I really need to dust this piano off. I decorated it before I put any of that there, so I need to finish that. I think I'm going to take one of these and tie it on to here. And if I don't, if I don't, because it might be too much to have both, I'm going to put something here to kind of finish this. This does. This looks unfinished to me. This looks unfinished to me. 
and this looks unfinished to me. And I'm not sure if it's because I wanna add a little touches of greenery, which I need to go to the basement to do, and I will show you in the finished look once I, once I finish that, but this is the foundation. Let's call this the foundation decorate, decorate with me. We're putting our foundation pieces in, and then I will go back and add some touches. I do wanna make primitive bunnies, and I'm gonna do that with, um, some, oh, what do they call that fabric? Muslin. I'm gonna buy some muslin and that's all I need. I, and I might even have some in my stash. So I'm gonna take some muslin and I'm gonna coffee grunge it, use my grunge mix on it, it'll smell good. And then I'm going to either hot glue if I don't feel like stitching or I'm gonna hand stitch and whip up some primitive looking bunnies. And I wanna tuck a bunny here and I wanna tuck them in throughout sparsely throughout this room in the um, dining room. And I'm gonna love that. And I definitely wanna put some of them right in here. I wanna just tuck them. They're, they're super cute. I saw them on another channel. Um, somebody actually bought them. She didn't make them, she was decorating with them. I think it was Mel, um, it, was, it was Mel's, there's this lady who does primitive home tours and I will link her channel below. I think her name is Anne. Anyway, she has a cousin, Mel, and they did Mel's Easter room tour and she had bought these from a shop. And uh, I believe the shop she bought them from, they make them handmade. But anyway, I wanna make them myself and tuck them in everywhere. So I have a couple of little items that I need to put over on this secretary desk that I, when I, again, when I pulled them out, I knew that that's where I wanted them to go. And it's these right here, Boyd ceramic bears. Boyd bears and Longenberger baskets were what were popular when I was a young mom. So I did purchase a few of those. I don't necessarily know if they're gonna go in with my willow tree and I love my willow tree. So I don't think that I don't think, I don't want to remove them, but then again, I might have to to make this work. I might have to, so let me play. All right, I think I figured it out. What I did was remove the basket and I put my little guy with a stopwatch by the books and then a little up the ladder. I put my little one in her Easter outfit. And then at the very top, I put my little bunny with her birdhouse. And I like the way that looks. So I'm gonna leave that there. And all I did was shift some of the willow trees around to make room. And the only thing left over is my little chicken. So I'll find room for him somewhere, I'm not bothered. This is so random, it really is. But I have so many special things and I wanna keep them displayed because they make my heart happy. They help me, they help ground me. They help, I think my decorating is getting to the point where I want things around me that help me remember what's important in life, that helps me honor my past, honor where I came from, and um, helps guide me and give me hope to keep persevering into the future. And um, that's what this this area does for me most. So um, that's kind of why I think I'm going back towards the primitive country because I come from a country family, so it's just in my blood. Gonna stay in this moment, gonna lay here on the grass. I don't need to feel lonely, I am finally home at last. Dad Could wear a